You got a national team camp with world team member Tyler Graff. Tyler, man, how you feeling? How's camp going? Camp's going pretty good. It's always uh, good being here in Colorado Springs and thankful for this opportunity to train with the best guys in the, the country, the world, and just uh, picking as much grains as I can, really. And uh, every day is a day to make progress and opportunity to get closer to world championships, my goal. How's your training been going since Final X? Uh, it's been going awesome. Uh, really just taking it day to day, not looking past any day. And uh, like I said, making the most of it, picking everybody's brains out here. Um, lots of iron out here to sharpen myself with, so it's awesome. Now, you guy, you've always been right on the cusp, but you really had a breakthrough year this year making your first world team. How'd you do that? Well, there's a lot of there's a lot of factors to that. Uh, uh, most most of all, it's uh, my relationship with God. I mentioned that quite a bit, so I, I always make sure to give credit to that and uh, my family, who's always been there to support me. And then uh, just recently with the NJRTC joining them, uh, Reese Humphreys, uh, he's here at the training camp. Uh, just really been the tipping point, and and you could thank coaches too from all through my career and uh, from the beginnings like Kevin Jackson who I still work with to this day and uh, he's out at the Cadet Worlds right now. Um, got Donnie Pritzloff and uh, Scott Goodale, uh, guys at the Rutgers program and uh, the whole crew really at NGRTC and really all USA Wrestling. So this is a whole, whole group, whole team effort, not really one person, even though it's one person in the weight class. It's, I guess really what I'm trying to say. So uh, that's all what it took to get to this point. Now, you're not an Olympic weight, so you're not a Pan Am Games guy. So what's next for you? Uh, Belarus, and that'll be the Medved tournament. Um, that'll take place next Saturday and Sunday. Uh, they're a few hours ahead of time, so uh, just pretty soon gonna be dialed in on the time zone differences. Uh, just get myself uh, really clocked in the competition mode. So, got one more day of camp and wrap that, wrap the last day of camp up and get ready to compete in a week. It's a pretty tough tournament. You said to get your hands on some corners. Yep, absolutely. Every time uh, I get an opportunity to compete, um, you always go out there to put your best foot forward. Um, so, I'm looking forward to it. You're 30. Um, some people would say, that's getting kind of old. Is that something you think about? You know, no, but you know, the more I get it mentioned to me, um, it was a, the week before Final X is when I turned 30. Um, but I, I kind of jokingly tell people, stop telling me that or else, or else it's going to start, I guess, getting in my mind. But no, I feel great. Um, I feel awesome. Knock on wood, body's healthy. So, uh, you know, I just listen to my coaches. Uh, keep sticking to the things that's got me to where I'm at and, and keep absorbing more, which is going to get me to where I'm going. Um, I have great coaches. Um, you know, I've been told before, too, that I have a lot of wrestling in me, and I know the source who's telling me that he means it. So, uh, got some work to do. Has your training changed over the years at all? Has it been under 100%. Uh, every year it's just evolving, uh, whether it's little differences in how you do your weight, it's little differences in your technique or your approach to recovery or your approach to conditioning and lifting, uh, fine tuning your mobility. I mean, it's just endless. And that's one of the amazing things about the sport of wrestling is there's endless, endless ways to improve and become a better wrestler. And really, it's just kind of making it, uh, learning what best suits you. Uh, so yeah, absolutely. Every single year, it's changing, it's evolving. Thanks.